attention, please. The show starts in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. The time is now. I'm Trent, and this is Vision Preparedness. The time is now. is now good evening everybody i hope y'all are having an amazing day welcome to turmoil tuesday i'm glad to see all of y'all y'all are good good folks good people welcome in come on in sit down we have a flame of a show topic tonight folks Without a doubt, you want to buckle in. You want to save this video. You want to share this out because tonight, folks, we're taking the gloves off as much as we can, even though YouTube won't let us. YT hates us. That's okay. Thank you, Wolf Fang, for the five by five. I appreciate you, my brother. Good to see you, Fed Up American. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate you so much. As y'all all know, I'll never ask for money. We'll never say anything about money. But all donations go back into the channel to bring y'all amazing content, as well as special events and stuff and things and giveaways as much as I can gather and give it away. So thank you, Fed Up American. I appreciate you, my brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who else we got coming in here? There she is right there. There she is. Topic of the night. Coffee first. Then speak. Good to see you, family. Hope you're doing well. Shannon, good to see you as well. Loving life. Welcome in. Welcome in. Pibble Mama. Paper button with an S. Multiples 19. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. JRC Homestead, Texas. Good to see you, family. Good to see you. Seasonings to season. Good evening and welcome. She is speaking to everybody. Y'all welcome her in. Welcome, 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 my Renaissance grandma. Good to see you. I'm telling y'all right now, this woman right here is the best soap making lady in the business. I can only speak firsthand because I had it and it caused a riot in my house because everybody wanted the soap. So good to see you, my Renaissance grandma. And I hope you find a passenger to ride with you at Bug Out Weekend because I need to see you at Bug Out Weekend 
May 2nd through the 5th. Thank you for stopping by, by the way. Michael Wolf, good to see you. Charmaine Montgomery in the building. My man, the Virginia Bushcrafter, good to see you. Ghost Lincoln, Ghost Lincoln is my personal moderator tonight. He knows his task. He knows his mission. And his job all night long is to keep me from going full-blown retard. So, Ghost, good luck. Coffee. Good to see you. Who else we got in the building, y'all? Who else? Joe Morgan. Good to see you, my brother. Magic. Good to see you. Pibble Mama. Welcome in. Welcome in. Loretta. Welcome back, family. I hope you're doing well. Hope you had an amazing day. As always, as y'all can tell, I'm a little on the hype side tonight because I got my friend, my guy, my antagonist, my protagonist, and my professor. What else could you get there? I'll bring him up here in a minute. I want to speak to a couple of more, three of y'all. Blackbird, welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you, Dan H., for the five by five. Good to see you, my brother. Hope you're having a great day as well. Teresa, thank you. Yep, the wood is good because we need a little bit because it's a little chilly here tonight in the great state of Ohio. But thank you for stopping by. Sit down, scoot over. Relax, put your feet up, get your favorite beverage, prepare yourself, because tonight, the professor is unleashed, y'all. Wolf Bang, welcome in. Who else did I see in there? Oops, good to see you. Love and Life, good to see you as well. Water Tiger, welcome in. Jennifer, how you doing? Hope you had a good day today. Everything is great here, folks. Please, Charmaine Montgomery, welcome in, welcome in. And folks, if I personally have not greeted you, I am so sorry. The Quiet Ninja, good to see you. Welcome, welcome, and welcome. Pamela Wilson is in the building, folks. Say hi to Pamela as she takes her seat. Ed, my man, good to see you, bruh. Glad you stopped in tonight. Sherry, welcome in, welcome in, everybody. I, without further ado, I need to get this man up here because we got a lot of things or three to talk about because tonight is going to be total turmoil here. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, my man, my friend, my guy, I, I, you know, I, I need to find out his family tree because he actually could be a brother of mine. And uh, I need to, I need to trace the trees and see how far the rabbit hole goes. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, my man, my friend, my brother, Professor Mad Shad. Hmm. Greetings from the Erie Coast. This is Mad Shad. Professor Mad Shad. <laughs> Welcome, my brother. How are you? <laughs> good, brother. Good. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. Good to oh, see yeah. you. Oh, yeah. How's everybody in chat? Oh, man. It's great. Great to they're see everybody. They're chain tonight. They're, they're, they're amped up and talking and, and, and doing what they do. And folks, y'all have to forgive me if I don't uh, reply to the chat. But I will say this. I put up a poll for y'all. Make sure y'all vote, participate as we dive into this rabbit hole. And by the way, I just want to say it now, and I'll probably say it again later. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> for coming out tonight on Turmoil Tuesday. So, Professor... I'll start this off by saying this. There is a methodical process to dismantle a nation. Am I correct? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not crazy. Um, no. Well, that depends who you ask. Um, <laughs> if you ask Cole, he'll probably tell you, ah, absolutely, without a doubt, my dad's crazy. If you ask my kids, they'll probably say, yeah, he's he's he he's kind of half crazy. But then again, who knows? If you ask the tree out there, the tree's gonna say, "Oh no, that brother's good. That brother's good." <laughs> but then again, who cares? Anyway, introduce yourself, Professor, and uh, then we'll go from there. Hi, everybody. My name is Net, uh, Mad Shad. Uh, I'm pretty mad. I'm here in the Erie Coastal, great state of Ohio. Uh, I, I I like to uh, I like to think, and I've been studying this for quite some time. This uh, this exact specific uh, topic that we're going to talk about tonight. So, 
Yes, absolutely. And that's why I, when I thought about this topic, I couldn't think of a better person to talk about this topic because I mentioned it and his ears immediately perked up and he went on for about an hour and a half and I'm sitting there saying, he knows what he's talking about. So here we go. So to dismantle a nation, I'm t- we're talking millions of people, to get them to, what's the word, comply, there are things that the powers that be, and for those listening, I'm doing air quotes, uh, the powers that be put in place decades before anything, correct? Oh, yes. And this has been used throughout history, throughout time. Uh, it is it is something that it's in the history books. Uh, there, there's 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 subject matter about it written down. There's many authors about it um, on their side and ours. So this is this is nothing new. This is nothing new. And this is everything that our forefathers warned us about. There you go. OK. Now, before we dive into this, you said our forefathers warned us about this. Yes. How did they warn us about this? Well, uh, for one, you can uh, you can look at the Constitution, uh, the the federal papers. Uh, there's so many things within our fairly young uh, life as a as a nation, you know, as a sovereign nation. Everything, everything that everything that Thomas Jefferson talked about, everything that George Washington talk, talked about, Benjamin Franklin, all all the everyone that signed and signed the Constitution, even everyone from John Hancock to Samuel Adams, uh, this was known. This was known because at the time, the big power was the UK. It was the British, the British Empire. And uh-huh. they were well versed in this. They've done it to many, many, many nations. Uh, and they were in they were in a, a competition with other nations, the French, the Spanish, uh, you know, the the uh, the caliphates. Uh, it just goes on and on and on. And they all use the same method of subversion. Okay. And if subversion would not could not work, they went on a military campaign. You know, if they if they thought they could take it uh, by force, they would. But if mm-hmm. they knew they couldn't take it by force, it'd be too costly, too lengthy. They would employ subversion, and that was okay. a long, lengthy process. Right. Okay. So to give everybody some background, there are four steps to dismantle yes. a nation. And we're yes. going to go through each step. And that's why I put the poll up so that you folks could either know or think what stage these great states of the United are in. So first stage we have is demoralization. Demoralization, yeah. yeah. Second stage is destabilization. Destabilization. Third stage is crisis. Yeah. And the fourth stage is normalization. Normalization or victory. There you go. Okay, folks, those are the four stages. So let's dive in. Talk about how how do the powers that be, and I'm doing air quotes again for those listening, how do you do demoralization? Uh, Shock and humiliation. You, You use shock and humiliation. You... You make the most profane, the most debauchery normal. Mm-hmm. Sound familiar? Yeah. Yeah. So when you, you say debauchery, what what are we what are we talking about debauchery? Uh, another word could be abominations. Uh, you know, uh, uh, anything that is immoral, extremely Ooh. immoral. Uh, going on from uh, un, unnatural acts of uh, sex uh, and sexual preference, uh, also to include the little, uh, you know, the the chomos, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, 
sacrifices, cannibalism, um, you name it, whatever it, they can do to demoralize, to shock and humiliate the population. And you're always, they're always going to have people that just get right on in, or they employ people that do it, uh, you know, that, that are willing to do it. And usually it's, uh, back in the day, it was theater. It was done with theaters. It was done with uh-huh. author, uh, you know, and the, it, media. So any kind of media that they consume, you know, back in the day, it would have been pamphlets, books, uh, plays, uh, you know, people just walking around, you know, hey, 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 uh, seven foot tall uh, Jimmy, why don't you put on this dress and walk down the street of, uh, of the, va- you know, in the uh, in the square and see what happens. Yeah. Right. So they would they would employ people to do this, to to begin this this humiliation uh, shock and humiliation because I, it, that's what it does. It shocks and then you're humiliated. And then if you try to say something, uh, you know, hey, that's not right. That's very immoral. Uh, that goes against our, our everything, you know, that, that, that is natural and good in this world. And then you get ostracized or you get, uh, uh, depending on how far they get into their, in, into our, our, uh, our, our local, uh, it, it starts in the, in the colleges. It starts in the in, in the schools. You know, it starts small. It starts with um, groups, churches. If they can, if they can subvert a church uh, and preach this stuff, people will bring just bring it in. And the young are the most susceptible because they they have a very impressionable mind. Right. Uh, the older you get, the more. The more you see behind the veil, the more the more uh, uh, intestinal fortitude you have. Uh, kids, uh, young young people don't have that, and and they're already filled with angst and rebellion anyway. You know, uh, so it's very easy to get them online and say, "Hey, little Timmy, you want to be Tiffany? Sure, why not?" And boom, okay, well here you go. Uh, you know, uh, there you go. There's there's the shock and humiliation, and of course, making everything mainstream. You, you look at uh, you look at Hollywood, uh, yeah. you look at the movies, you look at Disney, you, you, you see how everything is is being thrown at you. That is is right. not natural. And, uh, and and you're ostracized if, if you if you speak out. Right. Exactly. So. We've all experienced or seen or heard, not necessarily experienced, but seen and heard that in our face pretty much on a daily basis, somewhere, somehow. Yeah. So we experienced it. Yeah. Demoralization is well underway. Oh, yeah. And And it's an ongoing, continuous process through the whole process of subversion. Uh, up to the point of normalization or victory. Right. Folks, you, you can't make this. We're not making this stuff up. I mean, no. this has been in play in the world since the beginning of time. Plain and simple. Yes. All right. Let's go to number two. Destabilization. What? what well, is, what is that? Yes. Because of the demoralization, uh, I, I also forgot to, to, to point out the destabilization mm-hmm. part. Uh, you're pitting people, you're pitting groups against each other. You know, whatever it may be, the blacks against the whites, the 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 Asians against against the Latinos, the the gays against the straights, right? Uh, you know, so you're you're doing that constantly through the through the destabilization or demoralization which leads to the destabilization now they start going after the financial area they start going after your economic your food your water your your job your gas you know everything starts to fail uh your your things cost more and more and more and they're harder to get uh your your food supply is is shut off uh think of stalin with the uh when when he took out you know the whole bolsheviks thing and you know, yeah. taking out the farmers. And so that's 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 part of the destabilization. You start to break down all these institutions that we, the people, created for ourselves. Right. You know, because, we because we're yeah, we're, we're very inventive. We're very we're, we, we have this uh, this wherewithal about us that we will create things. 
out of out of necessity or out of convenience. And uh, of course, you know, in this world, we we have the uh, we we live in the the most historic uh, convenience and quality of life that the history has ever known. Well, right. Maybe. Absolutely. You, know, you live by yourself, but that's that's part of it. And then you start to destabilize things, and things start to ramp up and heat up, and and groups are starting to attack each other and and rhetoric is being thrown and and they're they're your they're your fellow americans they're your fellow countrymen and you're going to war with them because of some kind of ideology or some kind of difference that's been wedged in there and pushed and and f the flames have been fanned uh and on top of that they they of course you know the, the economic starts to fail and then you know, all the all the all the systems and everything yeah. start to fail. And next thing you know, you have no food, you have no water and everybody is at odds at each other. So basically. They're manufacturing chaos. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. In order for us to do what? Destroy ourselves. To fight, ourselves. yeah. To fight to destabilize, abs absolute destabilization of society and of the family unit, because the family unit is the strongest unit that a nation has: yes. a mother, a father, a child, and they yes. will do everything they can in their power, and and they'll find the power to yeah. to bring that kid up correctly and safely. And they want the same for, for everybody else, too. So you have family units. Many family units create a village. A village creates a town. A town creates a city. Cities create states. States create nations. So that family unit is essential. And in this country, uh, it, is, it is based on Judeo-Christian uh, 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 doctrine and, and morals and ethics and and so that's that's how that's how our founding fathers made it they said look there's merit in this let's do this everything else has failed let's do this and and let's have this freedom this this ability to find happiness and be secure and and have a great future and so once they destroy the family unit Mm -hmm. By turning little Tiffany and a little Timmy into Tiffany or a little Tiffany into Timmy and then mommy and daddy turned into daddy and mommy or they just break up and go away, you know, or or whatever. You know, they 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 want to it's it's what what they do is they use something called relativism. That's that's part of uh, relativism is basically saying you can be whatever you want to be. So be it. And to hell with what everybody else thinks. Matter of fact, they're wrong and you're right. So you can be a furry transgender midget if you wish. That's fine. Uh, and, you know, run around on all fours and, and, and poop in a, uh, a litter you know, box. A litter yeah. box. Okay, fine. And, and they'll give you grants. They'll give you, they'll, they'll let you do it. They'll, oh, that's great. They'll, that's great. Put you on TikTok doing it. So now that's the shock, the humiliation, the demoralization that leads to destabilization, because what happens? We get pissed off like, yeah. no, 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 Timmy. You cannot be a furry Timmy, uh, Tiffany and poop in the litter box. Get your butt in, back in the house and do your homework. Exactly. You're going to college. You're going to be an engineer. All right. You're, you're not going to be a cat. <laughs> right. Exactly. <clears throat> and And we've all seen that. I mean, that that's. Unfortunately, in our face, yeah. in our children's face. And, and so you're telling me that they put in place systemic things to cause the breakdown of the family unit. Right, right. Uh, and and all, all the words that they use, too. They, everything is clouded. Everything is yes. hidden and clouded. You know, yeah. you said systemic, systemic racism. Yes. You know? So systemic anti-Semiticism, systemic yes. this, systemic that. It's it 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 creates a a, a hegemony, a a, a barrier mm -hmm. for these useful idiots, and that's yeah. a historical term, by the way. These yeah. useful idiots that are that are into this relativism, uh, and and 
acting out their fantasies or, you know, following orders uh, right. or getting paid for it. Um, that That's what they're doing. And it's it, it creates a a bubble, a box that only they, they can't hear anybody else. And if anybody tries to talk sense into them, they go, oh, you're, you must be you must be racist, homophobic, uh, whatever. Uh, you know, it's it, that's because it's programmed. So it, there is a lot right. of programming that, that there's a reason why it's uh, TV, television programming. You're being yes. programmed. They're yes. being programmed. Right. Uh, and, you know, there used to be a time in our school system when it was a great thing. I, I, I learned I learned about the greats. Uh, and I'm sure you did. And a lot of other people did too. You know, I, I shot a 22 in school. Uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> it was, yeah. it was crazy. Uh, you know, uh, hunter safety course and civics, uh, you know, we, we learn things now, now they learn other things and it's more, it's not a school. It's an indoctrination. indoctrination. Yes. Agreed. Are you going to be, are you going to be a good slave? Are you going to be a good or a good soldier? Or are you three idiot? One of, one of the three. And yeah. if you want to go to higher education, oh, it gets worse. Now you got now you got a philosophical, a philosophical tie into this. And the, and, and these professors and, and everybody else and counselors, they 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 bring up the books. They bring out the books that mm -hmm. that go way back to 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 the 1400s, to the 1700s, to the to the early Greek uh, you know Greek masters, you know. Yeah. Uh, Hegelian dialects and Fabian dialects, and they start telling you this is this has credence, right? Uh, right. And then of course the cults. Ooh, the, I mean the cults. Uh, they, they they take you and they see where you want to go, where where you're you're willing to participate, and they lead you down that dark path, and you never come back. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. yeah. See, that's that's one thing I can't understand because. You know, I was probably about 16 and I applied to this club called the KKK. And uh, they wouldn't let me join. I, I, I mean, didn't understand that. I, I, you know, uh, what, what's his name? Uh, uh, Clayton Big. What, what was his name? Clayton Big, Bixby. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, he joins. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> I don't right. get it, folks. We right. we are being set up for failure from the top up to the bottom down. Yep. Yeah, you see it. You see it in the uh, in in our our sports. Yes. You know, that's you know. Shout out to Riley Gaines. She is fighting a good fight. You know yes. the the swimmer. Uh, you know she she's done. She's like, no, I don't. No, you can't. We can't have men masquerading as women. women. Yes. Exactly. Participating and, and competing. It, right. You know, it's, it, it, there is a, uh, a a difference between man and woman. There really is. I mean, you know, you, and you see this when they start to compete in any type of sport. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, like I said, that's part of the shock and humiliation. You know, right. that that lead that's the demoralization leads to the destabilization. And uh, well, so. In the destabilization, what is the major thing that happens? Uh, well, you're, you're, you, you, we already seen it. Uh, okay. You know, the, the, the summer of love, if you will. You know, <laughs> uh, we the Kyle Rittenhouses, the the yeah. Blem, the Aunt Quifas. Uh, you know, and this is a worldwide thing. That's that's the thing about it. They haven't just you know, targeted one nation, which is usually what they do. No, they've targeted the whole world. And uh, yeah, it starts to destabilize and uh, things get bad. There's riots in the streets. There's there's more crime, a lot more crime because people are getting more desperate, more violent. Uh, and they're 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 understanding that that things are bad. And there's somebody over there that hates me, so that gives me the reason to go over here and and grab me some Louis Vuittons out the store, you know, uh, run on down the street and yeah, and not kill everybody my way. Yeah. Right. By the way, Donna Divine, thank you so much for the donation. Uh, she said this professor is wise. Mad Shad Q is victory at the collapse or reset. Good to see you, Trent VP. 
Right. And that's what they're calling this, the Great Reset. Exactly. And uh, everybody is all... Think of all the supervillains that you've ever seen in all the movies and 007 and all that. Mm -hmm. Think of all of them just saying, you know what? Let's get together and take over the world. Pinky in the brain. Yeah. That's all I think about every day. (laughs) Yeah. What are we going to do today? Same thing we do every day. Plot to take over the world. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So... In in okay, so then we got destabilization. What what's next after destabilization? Crisis, crisis, crisis is exactly what it sounds like. Crisis, uh, a crisis from comes from the destabilization of everything. You know, uh, look at look at what happened in uh, was it uh, Venezuela, uh, Brazil? Uh, yeah. They they went down a deep dark path and they just yeah. got out of it, or so they think. Uh, yeah. You know, it, and they went to war. That, and that's what exactly what happens: either civil war mm. or invasion. Mm. We we appear to be facing both. Yes, I would agree. Replacement migration, replacement migration from Mister Soros. Yeah. Uh, so you know they've been, they've been they've been doing this for a lot if you can that's a great way to destabilize and create a crisis is to overload a country with uh all kinds of different people that do not have your morals ethics uh don't care about any of you any of us they just want to take and take and take and uh they come from a very worse place than what we what we have uh, right. we're you know, murder and the R word happens on a daily basis. You know, right. exactly. Uh, yeah. It. I just don't understand how our southern border is so overrun and invaded that the majority of people in these great states of America don't understand it don't know about it or just don't freaking care and that's it too that's why that's why we've been they've been allowed to continue as far as they have and make such strides because bread and circuses we just and and we're not we we don't need uh we don't i don't i don't i don't care what's going on in the border i i got work to do i've got to yeah. feed my family i got to pay rent and mortgages i got to put gas in my car uh you know little timmy needs need, needs uh braces uh you know so i don't i don't see that walmart's still open you know i i can go get all the food i have netflix i can just yeah. sit down and watch netflix and just tune out the world i don't care you know, and then when somebody hear somebody says something about what's going on, like destabilization, you know, they're like, uh no, 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 no. Oh, I'm good. My 401k will will save me. Exactly. You know? Um yeah. The, and so we go just ahead. oh go ahead. No, I was gonna say real quick, the quiet ninja said, What's their end game? Ah, their end game. Well, after crisis is uh normalization. Normalization or victory in their eyes is when everyone has been either killed, subverted, enslaved, and that's when they come in and take total power and control. So I'm going to ask a stupid question. Hmm. Do you think that can happen in this country? Allegedly. I hope it never does. Mm -hmm. I hope it never does. The thing that stops it is non-compliance. The thing that stops it is uh, good men standing up and and, and, and good men and women. uh, And and what's the saying that evil, evil triumphs when good men do nothing? And that's exactly what's going on right now is good men doing nothing. Yeah, you hear about it. And so they also do a suppression. Uh, so there's a lot of suppression as well. They control the narrative, uh, you know. And if if someone is strong enough and man enough to sp- stand up and speak out 
or they just come and take them out or they they tarnish their their reputation or or whatever you know uh they they turn them into something they're not and 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 uh off they go into the uh into the clink right but uh that's that's uh the end game is your complete and utter slavery that's it that's it will it ever happen they're well on their way uh they are well on their we are we are just we are in the destabilization stage right now they, these things take decades these things take years uh they you you've heard all about the 2030 2050 2025 all that uh they do like to have timelines and they seem to be ramping things up you know taking advantage because that's what they do is they they poke and prod and and if 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 there's any kind of resistance they don't like they back away it's right. a, it's, it's their way of mitigation of of uh damage uh they're not going to come at us head on because they know that we will beat them you know you yes. you're not going to come in my house and 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 do this mess no uh but little by little little by little and then they back away Desert right. force back away that's how they do it. It's it's kind of a it, it's a coward's way of fighting. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. So who are these people that are part of this in this great states of America? And and I'm 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 poking the bear. Oh, okay. Great. Well, we, I, I like to call him potato. Uh, you like to call him grandpa ice cream. Uh, he's just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, there, there is so much more underneath him, you know, uh, and, and they like to insulate themselves, right? Yes. They, they like to, to create a, a, a unit, a cohesion, cohesive unit where everybody else, everybody is compromised. Everybody is corrupt and everybody has dirt on everybody and, and, and they get, get shit done that way. And so yeah. everybody, all of our government, the 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 Dems and the reps, yep, are not to be trusted. And yeah. it's funny because our founding fathers told us that. <laughs> that is true. You know, big government is only going to enslave you. That's the only thing it's good. That that's that's that is its natural possession. Its natural order is to become so big and so powerful that it controls everything. Yeah. You know? Yeah. CUCV Farmer said, it's on purpose. We could secure our borders if we wanted to. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And that's what it takes is unity, right? Mm -hmm. Unity and, uh, and, and all of us, sound mind and body, making a conscious choice and decision to show up and show out. Uh, yeah. You know, it's, it's, and, and it doesn't, and I'm not, I'm not talking violence. I'm not talking right. violence. It doesn't have to be violence, right. but it, it, there's always that threat of violence. And that's why we have the two A, uh, but we really don't need that. We could have the night of the bat. We could have the <laughs> night of the stick, you know, <laughs> the night of the bottle. I mean, yes. it, it doesn't matter. Uh, there's enough of us to yes. exact a change to I mean, look at Sri Lanka. They didn't have guns. They literally just grabbed people and threw them out. Like, get out now. And, uh, well, you know, they took back over. But that's okay. We won't talk about right. that. Uh, <laughs> you have to guard against this. And that's what our founding fathers were talking about. Exactly. And, you know, folks, it it they warned us. We can't say we were not warned or told because they crafted that piece of paper to make sure that we always knew. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of that, my my friend, my great friend, my amazing brother, Devil Dog said registration is open for VP's Bug Out Weekend, May 2nd through the 5th in Dayton, Ohio. And for those of you I'm actually going to drop the link in the channel, in the chat rather, so that you can take a look at it. Because the Bug Out Weekend, folks, is a great time for a bunch of like-minded people. We come together, we test gear, 
We teach classes. We have fun. We have conversations. And, and I am proud and excited to say that this year, for the first year, we will be having the Bushcraft Hiking Cook-Off. <laughs> How, how'd I do, Devil Dog? Was that it? So check it out, folks. If you want to participate in the Bushcraft Hiking Cook-Off, all the rules are right there on the registration page. You have to register at the same time you register for the Bug Out Weekend. It's free. It doesn't cost you a dime other than your gas money, your time, your food. We have some amazing content creators that are going to be teaching courses and classes. We're going to be having giveaways. I personally say this is the year of some of the best giveaways we have to give away. And last year we had some awesome giveaways, but this year we've got some massive, awesome giveaways. So check it out, folks. Bug Out Weekend 2024, May 2nd through the 5th in Dayton, Ohio. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. There's plenty of folks in the chat that were there last year that can tell you of yep, the amazing time we had. I was there. And, had a great time. And it's only going to get better. So register, please, kind sir, kind ma'am. Come out. Have a great time. You can meet a, some amazing people that you see in the chats on these YouTube streets. You can meet them in person, without a doubt. Cherokee Survival says, sounds cool. Teaching would be great. Yeah, exactly. We have, we, we have and I'm trying to find his comment here, we have some amazing stuff. Some amazing classes going on and, and things like that. But you want to make sure. Um, nah, KP said, is it just me or is Vision Prepared in his head getting bigger every time he talks about <laughs> <laughs> it? It's a great time, KP. And you know, I... I, I know you're the best man in the concrete business, but when it comes out to bug out weekend, bruh, you you got to come. You got to come from New Orleans. Come on all the way up from Louisiana. Come on. Shake my hand. Bring some gumbo with you. Bring some hot sauce. Bring something. Just show up, bruh. It's free. <laughs> but anyway, that was my uh, uh, one of my plugs for the bug out weekend. And I'm going to be calm tonight because I've learned, you know, sometimes my dad, my dad used to always tell me sometimes the best response is no response. So there we go. Please continue professor Shad. <laughs> yes. So, uh, we, we went over the, uh, demoralization, the destabilization, which is the ongoing process, uh, that leads to the crisis and the crisis is a civil war or evasion or both. Uh, and then the normalization or victory, where you literally have the tanks rolling down your street and the, the goose-stepping jackbooted thugs coming into your home and forcing you to the ground and forcing you to take it. To take. Because the, the, what happens is the, the, the crisis gets so bad that everyone just yearns for some kind of normalcy. Please save us. So what people do, uh, the population does, is they try to put their faith in one man, one person that's going to bring them out of the darkness. Or they look at another form of government, say socialism, communism, mm -hmm. totalitarianism, and say th that would work and keep us safe and keep us safe from the civil war and the invasion. And it never turns out well. It never. It never turns out well. Yes. Devil Dog, don't, don't, you don't have to boo me, bro. I, I'm, I'm, you know, it, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm, 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 ladies and gentlemen, just because I am who I am and Professor Mad Shad is, is giving some amazing information, but I, I just want to share this bit of information with you. Please stand by.
Hey folks, Vision Preparedness here. Just want to give you a quick update about Bug Out Weekend 2024, folks. That's May 2nd through the 5th in Dayton, Ohio. Registration is now open. You can go to our website, that's visionpreparedness.org, and register for the Bug Out Weekend. It'll cost you absolutely zero to attend. Bring your attitude, bring your preps, bring your smile, and be ready for an amazing time. Also, while you're registering for the event, for all of you master grillers, chefs, cook-offs, all of that people that know how to cook good food outside, register for the Bushcraft Kite Hiking Cook-Off, folks. And if you win the first round, you go up against yours truly, BP. Bring the heat, bring the fun, bring your attitude, folks. We'll see you at Bug Out Weekend 2024. That's May 2nd through the 5th in Dayton, Ohio. All the information you need is on our website, and we'll see you soon. Hey, also folks at the Bug Out Weekend 2024 will be the Bushcraft Hiking Cook-Off Challenge. Folks, all of you grill masters, all you camp chefs, all you bushcraft cooks, folks, come on out. There's going to be a challenge for a cook-off to beat VP. If you win the first level, you go up against me. Bring your best, bring your attitude, and bring some fun. Folks, you can register for the Bushcraft Hiking Cook-Off. When you register for the Bug Out Weekend, you have to. You have to do all of it at once. When you register for the Bug Out Weekend, no exceptions. Folks, we're going to have a great time, some great prizes. And if you win the Bushcraft Hiking Cook-Off, then you get the chance to go up against me, VP, folks. So bring your A-game, folks. I've been challenged. I've had a bunch of people tell me they're coming for the title. But guess what? Here's all I can tell y'all. The champ is here. The, the champ, champ is, here. is here. The champ we'll is here. We'll see you at Bug Out Weekend 2024. Take care, folks. The God bless. Here. Stay safe. I now return you to your regularly scheduled programming. Professor Mad Shad, you look frozen. And I don't know if he is. And he's back. There he is. Welcome back. You're muted. Unmute yourself. There you go. Okay. Welcome Hi. back. Hi. Are we there? Hi. What's up? Here we go. <laughs> uh, folks. There it is. That's all I can say. Bug out weekend. Check it out. You need to be there. Plain and simple. And uh, crisis. How to dismantle a nation. So what happens in crisis mode? Crisis mode is kinetic. It's absolutely kinetic. Um, it's And, and uh, it can be kinetic and it can also be, uh, well, uh, what does the Bible say about the, uh, the the pouring out the 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 evils upon the world? So you got your your pestilence, your disease, the four horsemen, you know, yeah. ride out. Uh, you know it, it, that. So you, not only are we trying to destroy each other in a civil war, there's people also invading because they're going to take advantage of our our civil war. Then you have these players that are dropping all these little nasty little bugs everywhere and poisoning uh -huh. the well and uh, you know the things of that nature to to really get that uh, that that death toll up and create that crisis. Uh, an amazing crisis that that is hard to run from, right? Hard to escape. So, so when the crisis happens, air quotes again, allegedly, 
it will affect all people, all states within the nation. Oh yeah, it yeah, absolutely. It it's it, there there'll be little little or no places to hide. I'm sure people will be. Uh, you know, smart. Uh, hopefully, when the crisis happens, that that will be our uniting factor that that brings us all together and says, "Wait a minute, uh, you know, we're Americans here, uh, and uh, you know, there's we, we got to band together and stop this." Uh, so the crisis can also when they when they do the crisis it can also be a bad thing for them it could it could it could be a game changer and they could lose it's a risk wow so it wait a minute it's a game changer that who could lose they could lose that they uh, could. yeah remember marie antoinette let them eat cake she lost yeah, she well, she lost her head, but yeah. <laughs> you you see what I mean. Uh, it, it it could it could it could flip, uh, but you know it, they they believe they know what they're doing. Uh, but you know, there's a lot of us that know who they are, and uh, that's all it takes is knowing who they are, and that's all that matters. Wow. So. When crisis ensues, what are the options? Well, uh, like I said, the options, uh, knowing who the bad people are, who are the ones that, uh, that, uh, that perpetrated this crisis, and uh, apprehending them, you know, uh, that's, you know, and then dealing with them as as a uh, as needed. <laughs> Wolfgang, get the red dot ready. Yeah, exactly. uh, you know that's yeah. that's that's what it takes. Uh, you know, overwhelming force uh, and smart. And uh, w there there is a chance that we could be non-compliant as well and not participate in the war or the invasion uh, and, and protect ourselves and protect our own, become, become uh, uh, autonomous groups, uh, you know, take our own uh, security and livelihood into our own hands, uh, you know, and have, and, and have a bit of security and freedom at the same time against this. But, uh, it's it's it, it's such a massive scale of of, uh, of crisis that well let's just say that 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 preppers are pretty much uh, pretty on, on a good job they're doing a good job we, we'll right. we'll be we'll be better more better prepared than anybody else uh, you know say the sheeple they're they're going to be out there scour you know scavenging and uh right. and, and looting and, and whatever they can to to get get food and water and, and shelter and and security uh whereas we have already done these things uh and addressed these situations mm -hmm. and now we we can act accordingly mm -hmm. um so uh, once that happens once the crisis happens uh you know it's it's it has to be something that's undeniable uh, but it takes a long time to get to that crisis. We still have food. We still have water. We, we still have our health. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's, it, it takes a long time to get to that point. Yeah. And so much tested asked, you know, what about the series of small crises? That, that goes into the destabilization part. Uh, you know, that's where we have seen the autonomous zones, the, the chap, the chas, you know, whatever, uh, you know, it, it, groups get it going over there and leave us alone. And, you know, uh, there's 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 places in Michigan where where the, they they have the open Aloha snack bar and we can't go there, but only right. they can. Uh, you know, so there's towns and cities like that. There's there's no go zones in UK where nobody is allowed to go there unless you are part of the, you have a membership to the Aloha snack bar, you know, right. you paid your dues and your fees, uh, paid the doorman. So, you know, club Aloha snack bar. Uh, so that, that's, that's yeah. this has been, and they, they, they infiltrate 
the actual the actual municipalities, the government, it gets voted in. You know, all these people, uh, the Manchurian candidates, all of that is part of that, and that leads to the crisis. You know, and so yeah. what Grandpa Ice Cream is doing, where literally he is just pooping himself and uh, throwing all the money away and uh, creating chaos and disorder and having, yeah, like much tested series of small crises, crises, yeah. um, you know, leading to the much larger, cri larger crisis where we were literally will at the end of the crisis, we'd be begging and pleading for the boot on our neck. Yeah, right. Exactly. And, you know, I, I, I'm with you. I, I hope at least in my lifetime, I never see this yeah. because if it comes to that on this rock is where I will perish. Right. Cause right. I'd rather die fighting than live on my knees. So yeah, okay. Emilio, General Emilio is not a part. I rather prefer to die on my feet than to live on my knees. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Emilio I Zapata. Mean, I, yeah. General Emilio Zapata from Mexico. Yes. Exactly. It's a great exactly. quote. Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> Devil Dog. They're they're saying that that was Devil Dog in the video. The guy in the cape in front of the fire pit. So. <laughs> If Devil Dog shows up in his underwear and a cape, I, I'm just going to lose it. That's going to be great. Uh, <laughs> if that happens, I will give the belt to him. <laughs> he, yes. he won't have to cook. I'll just give it to him. He, he straight up went mucha lucha on you. Yes, you just you, fly, you win, bro. You here, you win. I, 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 I can't beat that. I can't top that. Yes. <laughs> Oh, Kevin yeah. Carl, welcome in, and welcome in everybody that I did not speak to. I appreciate all of y'all <laughs> because the professor is lecturing on how to dismantle a nation. And folks, we have seen a little bit, a pinch, as African Dreaming says, just a pinch, pinch just, just a, a pinch, just a pinch of all of it. And so what happens after crisis? Well, uh, you, you get to stand in line uh, for food if there is any. Uh, you, you, you have to work without money. Uh, you, you're a slave. And, and you, they decide whether you live or you die. Are you useful enough? Uh, for them, you know, <laughs> devil dog <laughs> broke my broke my concentration, brother. <laughs> That's <was> great. <laughs> I'll be waiting for that video. Uh, you know, yeah. Think think Stalin. Think Lenin. Think Mao Zedong. You know, think modern day uh, China. You know, that's that's where they're that's where they want us to go worldwide, worldwide. Uh, Jay Creature. Jay Creature. I, I, okay. I don't, I, I don't know I, why. I, I, I've heard it all. I've heard it all. My name is Shad. It's a fish. Okay. Yes. So yeah. yeah. Bait. Yes. Everybody wanted, everybody always wanted to take me fishing when I was younger. You know, and I didn't know why. Yeah. Then I realized. So oh, they're yeah. talking, you're talking total enslavement. Yes. As being normalization. That's it. Yeah. Uh, the whole freedom security thing. You know, remember yeah. that uh, yeah. those who give up their freedom for security uh, don't you don't you don't get uh, you don't need or uh, you don't deserve any. You don't deserve neither. So you're giving up all your freedom for complete security. But yep. doesn't the Second Amendment. Give us the. God given right to bear arms against a tyrannical government? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the, 
Yeah, to ensure a free nation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, to ensure a free nation. Yes. Yeah. And 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 I'm sure somebody's going to quote it. I'm getting ready to quote it. Um cuz I have it and I got to find there, out yeah. where I put it. Um where do I put it? Anyway, sure. yeah, yes. the second amendment guarantees us of that. But are we really guaranteed? No nation stands secure. No nation stands secure. And so because we are strong, because we have the 2A, this is how they have to do it. They cannot go full on frontal assault. They have to come at us sideways. They have to catch us when we're sleeping. You know, And yes, I, I hear all this talk about the paper money. Yes, the fiat currency. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's part of it as well. This this is a, a plan that was enacted long before we were born. Correct. Yep. So well, the Second Amendment, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Right. And it is and on it a is. regular basis. Uh, uh, just just the uh, the existence of the bat fee you know the bat fee take away the b and the f and you know what i uh, you know yeah. the 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 dog murderers uh yeah. that's what they're all about that's the only reason they were created uh the the uh national firearms act uh that was created well that was actually created out of fear fear of the black man because they they was afraid that the the black population was going to rise up and and kill whitey, uh, but they just uh, they they, <laughs> but they just made it for everyone, and so no more giggle switches, uh, you know. And, and, but you know it it stand it's it stood that you only have to pay a two hundred dollars stamp tax stamp, and then you get what you want, right? So uh, two hundred dollars for something I already bought. And own, yeah, right. And yeah, so, it's mine. Yeah, if, it's, if it's a little shorter than what they say, see how it works. You know, they they tell us they start to dictate and give us rules and regulations and laws and 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 we we abide by them because oh that's just the way it is because we like to be law abiding as citizens. We like to yeah. to to be safe and to follow the rules. And that's how you be. That's how you you do the right thing. That's how we're taught. Right. Mm -hmm. That's how we're taught in school. Do the right thing. Immediate response to orders. Right. And there you go. Yeah. Orion prepared. It's good to see you. He said, tyrants don't think of themselves as tyrants, just as bullies don't see themselves as bullies. Yeah. Exactly. So it 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 appears that what they would consider Normalization is not normal. No, it is not the natural order of things. It is not. Okay. So what time is it? It is 7.36. So we're going to go on until we finish this because this is interesting because I'm, again, I'm, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I look at myself as the guy that connects dots that possibly should not be connected, but I connect them anyway. So right. first question is, can this be stopped? Yes. Okay. Yes. Second it question. has been stopped. It has been stopped in the, in the uh, past in history. Uh, as, as the, uh, Ask the Mongolians what happened to them when they went when they tried to uh, subjugate uh, and subvert Japan. It didn't work. It didn't know? work. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, what do we the people need to do? We need to come together. Come together in a sense of universal brotherhood, sisterhood. Uh, you know, become patriots and uphold our the moral fiber that is this this uh our, that has made our society great. And uh, unfortunately, we 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 might have to uh, 
Okay, salty, salty dog. dog. Sure, yeah. All right, yeah. let's go back to the beginning. Sure, we'll go back to but the beginning. It, you, we literally have to reach out to those who have been the ones that have the purple hair, the ones that have already cut things off. We, you know, they're already going to have buyer's remorse anyway. Uh, but you know, it, it's reaching out to them. Uh, and, and somehow making them realize uh, that what they're doing is wrong. And yes, Orion, no. The word no. Right. Non-compliance. And I'm not just talking non-compliance like I'm not going to pay my taxes today. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go to work today. I'm not going mm -hmm. to do this. I'm not going to do that. It's right. you're not going to do it. And it's going to be backed up. Yeah. So wait a minute. But we, how... How how can we come together? Because they wrote laws that said that I can't be friends with you because you have less melatonin in your skin than I do. So they wrote laws that said I'm three fourths of a man. Right. See, that's how they do it. Yeah. They they create the division. Hmm. But we realize that we are all one yes we are all all one and we are stronger we are many they are few there we do what we want they do what they can and they do whatever they can get away with and that's what we're that's what's been happening all these years is we've been allowing them to get away with so much and even now though, it's all even though i wasn't allowed to vote until 1965 Right. 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 I was two years old in 1965, but because I have more melon in my skin than you do, I couldn't vote till 1965, but then they said I could, even though they still left me as three fourths of a man. They're diabolical. <laughs> well, we changed all that, didn't we? We, the people, changed all that. Yes, we said, we did. no, that's, you're my brother. You're yes. my brother. You yes. are my brother. You're my sister. You, 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 all you of you. My brother. Yes. And, and that's, and that's, and, and our government at the time was like, okay, I guess you're right. Yeah. So. In order to divert all this, if I'm not mistaken, I'm I'm doing the cliff notes of Professor Shad because I'm telling y'all, I I could talk to him all night long and we would be on here until we both had to go to work in the morning. But <laughs> we're not. But you said if we come together. Yes. Folks, we, we give them no quarter. We allow them no destabilization, no demoralization. If we stop the, de the de demoralization and the destabilization, that stops the crisis. Even if they throw a crisis at us, we will we will we will quell it because yes. we are united. And we this is this is the United States of America. Okay, it is. Uh, if, everybody fears us and then for good reason, because if we put our mind to it, you're done. We, you yes. know, we're coming in there and that's just the people, not right. our government. Right. The, that's the, the government people. is made up of us. We mm -hmm. teach them. Mm -hmm. We go, we show them. Mm -hmm. All right. We make stuff for them. Mm -hmm. All right. It's not the government providing for us. No, it's us providing for the government. But, but and wait so, a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold that thought. Hi, I'm from the government. I'm here to help. Go away. <laughs> you don't want my help? No. Nope. I'm from the government. No, oh, don't need you. Go away. We got this. But, but I'm the government. Yeah, we don't like you. Okay. Continue. <laughs> And that's exactly what we did back in 1775, 1776, 8, and on, and on yeah. 17, uh, what, 1791. Uh, we told a tyrannical regime, we don't want you here anymore. Mm -hmm. And the British left. 
Mm-hmm. And we got this amazing country and, and we've been going strong ever since. Now they've been infiltrating this whole time. Yes. Moving yeah. in. Snakes slithering under rocks in the grass. Subverting what they can. You're absolutely right, Cherokee. I, I Yes, I, I get it. I understand. You're absolutely correct, my friend. Uh, so let, I'm on, now, the Constitution, if I'm not mistaken, the first three words of it is we the people. Mm. That means yeah. you. Yes. That you. means me. And you. That means us. All of us. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what, and I'm, 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 I feel, where's, is my personal moderator still in the chat? Because I feel myself going there. We, we, the people, we're the ones that make up the greatest country on the planet. Us. Yeah. We may have jacked up issues. Grandpa Ice Cream may be sitting in the corner, babbling, slobbering, and pooping on himself, as Professor Shad said, but this country is still the greatest country and the biggest force to reckon with all because of a piece of paper called the Constitution that says, we the people. Never forget, folks, we have the world's largest private army. Oh, period. yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it, it's not just force either. We're, we're also a force for good. Uh, yes. We 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 are the most charitable people in the world. Yes, we I are. Mean, think about it. We 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 send mission missionaries everywhere. We we build schools. We build bridges. We feed nations. We we house and clothes and medical and everything. We do that out of our own pockets. We do. We do. Yeah. <laughs> so. In other words, you're saying, Professor Shad, that in order to, I'm going to use a word that's never been said before, I'm saying it tonight, unmantle the dismantlers, we the people have to come together and stand up and say no, and back up no. Oh, yeah. yeah. Whatever it needs to be. With conviction. With with meaning. Yes. With meaning and something to back it up. Okay, folks, have y'all, if everybody in the chat, have you participated in the poll? Because I'm getting ready to close it because I want to drop this and see the results of everybody's uh, decision. The question is, what part subversion do you think we're in of the four parts that Professor Shad had been talking about? And I'm going to close the poll now. And the results will be in briefly and they will show up in the chat. And there we go. 49% say destabilization. 20% say crisis. 19% says demoralization. And 10% say normalization. The poll was complete. There were 87 votes. Y'all are freaking awesome, first of all. Thank you for taking the poll. So, majority survey says, Professor Shad. Survey says. Survey (laughs) says 49% of us are in the destabilization mode. What say you? They are correct. We we are in the process of the destabilization. So, what are they trying to destabilize? Well, they're, they're trying to destroy the family unit. They're trying to destroy... Money, food, shelter. So, what do we do as preppers? We we prep. We 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 build. We 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 put things away. We we grow. We create. Uh, so we've already got to hit a, a a step up on that. That's right. Know? That's right. And and folks, I'm gonna say this. Check out. The description of this, because one of our my amazing partners at Nutrient Survival, they're doing a contest where they're going to give 
one lucky winner $10,000 to purchase land. That's amazing. That's amazing. It, check it out the description. There's a link in the description. It's our, our partner link. All you have to do is purchase anything. You get one entry for everything you purchase. And, and this goes until September. And they're giving you the money to purchase land. The land, if I'm not mistaken, you can choose between Arizona, Texas, Colorado, and there's one more. California. You can choose. And I'm talking, we're not talking a acre. And I think the minimum is five acres. And it goes up to like 35 acres. Wow. It's it's insane. Check it out. That's all I'm gonna say about that. And because there'll be more next week to talk about that. Matter of fact, next Tuesday on Turmoil Tuesday, I have a special guest, a very good friend of mine, and we're gonna talk about what your ideal piece of land would be to buy. But anyway, we the people come together to unmantle the dismantlers and tell them no. Right. Right. And as our forefather said, we have to constantly remain vigilant because they are always going to be there. They're always going to try to take advantage. Yeah. Exactly. Their their job is to take advantage. <laughs> Jay Creature, this mad shad guy doesn't really seem that angry. Oh, ah! you know, <laughs> I was just trying to say, Jay Creature, you don't want to see him angry. You you really don't. <laughs> trust me. Yes. Yes. What's up, Jay? <laughs> and just to let you know, Jay, when 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 Shad met Cole, they literally just started wrestling on the floor. Yeah. yeah, he 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 went in. He shut the door. It was two men in and one man out, and they went in and went at it. And both of them had the best time of their life. I was like, I yeah. do not believe it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but anyway, I, yeah, yeah, he did. He did, Jay. No he cool. went toe no to cool. toe with Cole, and both of them were happy. <laughs> Bill Bixby. Um, Hillside Summit. Jim, can she cook? Even if she can't, you are guaranteed a happy ending. There you go. But folks, right, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Um, this is a serious topic. <laughs> That's all I can say. And yeah. we we yeah. add humor, but we're also educating at the same time. That's why I had the professor come and talk about this amazing topic, because we, me, him, and y'all, we make the difference in this country. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it, we, it, because of our differences, uh, that means nothing. That's, that's just your preference. That's just your environment. That's your genetics, whatever. It, inside your heart and inside your soul, it, we are all the same. We all bleed red, and yes. we all are red-blooded Americans. And we must love each other, even the ones that are misguided. That's true. You know, as the adage goes, am I my brother's keeper? Absolutely. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and with that, Professor, I'm going to give you the closing words. We're going to let these amazing people go. I just want to thank everybody for spending time with us tonight on Turmoil Tuesday. And Professor, give us some words of encouragement or wisdom. What am I going to say? How am I going to pull up with something like that? I, I, I believe in, in patience, tolerance, and humility, mercy, compassion, and understanding. If that doesn't work, kick their ass. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Right. You know, you got to be dangerous. You got to have some dangerous in you. You have to, sure. especially in this day and age, you know, bring it, bring it. Yeah. And bring it with love as well. Yes, absolutely. Am I a good man? Absolutely. Am I a dangerous man? You better believe it. 
Right on. And, and the more of us, men and women, because I know some dangerous women that oh, will yeah. get, yeah, that, you know, yeah. will, will bring the heat and step over you and keep it moving. But folks, I want to thank everybody. Professor, as always, my brother, my guy, my protagonist, the guy with the stick that pokes the bear. <laughs> Hang out with me for a minute after the show. Folks, you guys are awesome. And as always... Thank you so much for hanging out with us on Turmoil Tuesday. I will say this in parting and remember this. Keep on prepping because your family depends on you and it depends on your life. This is Vision Preparedness. God bless everybody. My man, Mad Shad, deploy the knife hands on the way out and we. We'll see y'all in the next video. God bless. Everybody stay safe. Have an amazing one. And we'll see y'all on Mayhemic Thursday.